NASA got a huge Christmas gift this morning when it successfully launched its most powerful space telescope ever. Decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. The James Webb Space Telescope has done it again. Just when astronomers thought they had a clear picture of what was drifting through interstellar space, Webb delivered a revelation that flipped those assumptions upside down. The subject of this discovery? A mysterious wanderer known as 3i slash Atlas, an interstellar object that has suddenly turned out to be much bigger than anyone ever imagined. When the first data came in, scientists thought they were dealing with something modest, maybe no larger than a typical comet nucleus, nothing too extraordinary. But as Webb's golden mirrors focused on Atlas, the results sent shockwaves through the astronomy community. This wasn't just another icy fragment passing by. This was a colossal traveler, a messenger from a distant star system, carrying secrets older than our own solar neighborhood. Why does its size matter? Because if bodies this massive are roaming the galaxy, it changes everything we thought we knew about how planets form, how material moves between star systems, and even how life's building blocks may travel across space. What Webb uncovered about 3i slash Atlas isn't just a scientific footnote. It's a turning point that forces humanity to see the galaxy in a whole new light. The story of 3i slash Atlas begins on July 1st, when the NASA-funded Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, better known as Atlas, first picked it up. Atlas was designed to scan the skies for near-Earth threats, but instead it stumbled on something far stranger, a visitor that didn't belong to our solar system at all. Almost immediately, its trajectory gave it away. Unlike the asteroids and comets bound to the sun, Atlas was moving on a hyperbolic path, the telltale signature of an interstellar traveler. That alone made it headline-worthy. To put things in perspective, this is only the third confirmed interstellar object humans have ever spotted. The first was the famous Oumuamua in 2017 with its strange cigar-like shape and baffling behavior. The second was 2i slash Borisov, a comet-like object discovered in 2009. And now, 3i slash Atlas has joined this tiny exclusive club. At first, astronomers assumed it was just another small fragment, an icy shard, perhaps no larger than a modest comet. Early light curves and ground-based telescope images suggested nothing out of the ordinary. But even then, there was a sense of mystery hanging over Atlas. Its brightness seemed inconsistent, its motion just a little unusual, as though it wasn't revealing its full story. And that's where Webb entered the picture. When its infrared eyes locked onto Atlas, the results would take the intrigue to an entirely new level. To understand why 3i slash Atlas is such a big deal, we need to step back and talk about what makes interstellar objects so different from the comets and asteroids we're used to. Most of the rocks, ice balls, and debris that astronomers track are bound to our sun. They orbit in predictable patterns, shaped by billions of years of gravitational tug of war. Interstellar objects, however, are outsiders. They were born in completely different star systems, far beyond our solar neighborhood. At some point in their chaotic early history, they were ejected, flung out by massive planets, close stellar flybys, or violent collisions. Then, like cosmic drifters, they spent millions or even billions of years wandering through the cold emptiness between stars. That's why spotting one inside our solar system is so extraordinary. Think of them as time capsules, relics that preserve the conditions of their birth systems. Each one carries physical evidence of worlds we may never see directly. When Oumuamua zipped through in 2017, it stunned astronomers with its unusual elongated shape and unexplained acceleration. When 2i slash Borisov followed two years later, it looked more like a traditional comet, but its composition hinted at chemistry unlike anything here. And now 3i slash Atlas enters the stage, offering a third entirely new data point. These messengers are so rare that every detection feels like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They're not just rocks in space. They're emissaries from distant suns, silent travelers bearing secrets from alien planetary nurseries. So when Webb turned its gaze toward Atlas, scientists were hoping for a clearer picture. What they got instead was a revelation that upended expectations and suggested the galaxy may be hiding far larger, stranger visitors than anyone dared imagine. At first, astronomers assumed 3i slash Atlas was nothing out of the ordinary. Ground-based telescopes had suggested a modest size, something in line with a typical comet nucleus, a frozen fragment, perhaps just a few kilometers across. That would have fit neatly with what we'd seen before. Oumuamua was small and peculiar. Borisov, though comet-like, was still within the expected range. The models made sense, until James Webb entered the picture. Unlike any telescope before it, 
Webb has the power to study the faint infrared glow of distant objects. By detecting subtle heat signatures, it can measure size and composition with incredible precision, even for targets floating in the cold void of interstellar space. When Webb focused on Atlas, the readings didn't match the modest predictions. The object was reflecting and radiating far more energy than a small body could account for. Astronomers recalculated. The numbers rose, then rose again. What had once looked like a simple ice ball turned out to be massive far larger than either Oumuamua or Borisov. This wasn't a pebble from another system. It was a planetary fragment, a potential planetesimal, the kind of building block that could have once grown into a full planet if it hadn't been ejected. The implications were staggering. If young planetary systems are capable of flinging out bodies this large, it means the galaxy is filled not just with dust and tiny shards, but with enormous travelers, ancient survivors of cosmic chaos. Suddenly, 3i slash Atlas wasn't just another interstellar curiosity. It was proof that star systems might eject entire embryonic worlds into the interstellar medium, scattering them like seeds across the galaxy. Size wasn't the only surprise Webb delivered. By splitting Atlas's light into a spectrum, scientists could read the fingerprints of the materials covering its surface. And what they found raised even more questions. Atlas wasn't just made of ice. Its spectrum showed a blend of volatile ices, the kind you'd expect on a comet, and darker, carbon-rich compounds. That mix is unusual. Typically, objects lean one way or the other, either dominated by reflective ice or by darker, rocky matter. Atlas seemed to carry both, as if it had lived through a history of intense heating, cooling, and chemical transformation. Why does that matter? Because carbon-rich compounds are the raw ingredients of life. Combined with ice, a source of water, they provide the perfect recipe for prebiotic chemistry. In other words, Atlas isn't just a wandering rock. It might be carrying the seeds of life across the galaxy. This idea ties into the fascinating theory of panspermia, the notion that life, or at least its building blocks, can travel between star systems hitching rides on interstellar objects. If bodies as large as Atlas are not rare but common, then the galaxy might be far more interconnected than we imagined. Each of these wandering giants could scatter organics wherever they go, seeding young star systems with chemical potential. And because Atlas is so large, it's better at preserving those materials. Small fragments get eroded and stripped over millions of years in interstellar space. A massive body like Atlas, though, can shield its chemical chemistry deep inside, acting like a cosmic vault. In short, Atlas isn't just an oversized comet. It's a messenger carrying whispers of alien chemistry, raising the possibility that life's story might not be confined to one world or even one star system. One of the biggest challenges with interstellar visitors is simply spotting them in time. Oumuamua, for instance, was already speeding out of the solar system by the time astronomers realized what it was. Borisov gave us only a brief window for study before fading into the distance. Small bodies are faint, unpredictable, and often slip past before we can gather much data. But Atlas is different. Size matters. A larger body reflects more sunlight, radiates more heat, and produces more visible activity as its surface ices sublimate. That means it stays bright longer, is easier to track, and gives scientists more time to mount observing campaigns. For astronomers, that's like striking gold. Instead of racing against the clock, they can carefully coordinate ground-based and space-based instruments to collect a fuller picture. Webb's detection of Atlas's true scale also triggered a deeper question. Is this an outlier or the first glimpse of a hidden population? Until now, our understanding of interstellar objects has been shaped by the fact that small ones are more common and easier to eject. But Webb's data suggests that large wanderers may not be as rare as once believed. If that's true, then the Milky Way might be crawling with massive interstellar planetesimals, silently drifting between stars. They wouldn't pass by every year, but in galactic terms, they could be far more abundant than expected. That possibility forces astronomers to rethink the statistics of cosmic visitors and consider how many enormous ancient fragments may have already swept past us undetected in the centuries before modern telescopes. Atlas, in other words, might not just be a lucky catch. It could be the opening chapter in a much bigger story, one where the galaxy is full of giant nomads waiting to be discovered. Whenever the word interstellar gets thrown around, people naturally ask, is it dangerous? The good news is, the chance of a massive body like Atlas colliding with Earth is astronomically small. The distances and velocities involved make a direct hit almost impossible. But that doesn't mean Atlas or objects like it are irrelevant to planetary defense. A body of this scale doesn't just pass through quietly. Its gravity interacts with everything around it. 
comets, asteroids, even distant Kuiper Belt objects. A close pass could nudge smaller bodies onto slightly different trajectories. Those tiny changes, amplified over centuries, could eventually cascade into something more significant for planets like ours. In that sense, interstellar giants act like cosmic billiard balls. They don't need to strike Earth directly to influence the long-term architecture of our solar system. And because they arrive without warning from outside, predicting their paths and effects becomes a critical task. This is why Webb's observation matters for more than just science. Knowing that such large wanderers exist means astronomers need to track them early and precisely. Not because they're likely to hit us, but because their gravitational footprint could reshape the delicate orbital balances we take for granted. Atlas isn't a threat, but it is a reminder. The galaxy isn't a static backdrop. It's a living, moving stage where massive travelers occasionally cross paths with our system. And when they do, they leave behind more than just scientific insights. They subtly rewrite the script of celestial mechanics. Beyond the numbers and spectral data, there's something profoundly human about a discovery like this. For centuries, we imagined the stars as distant islands, each system isolated from the others. But interstellar visitors like Atlas tell a very different story. The galaxy is interconnected. Worlds shed pieces of themselves, and those fragments wander for millions of years until one day they sweep through another star's backyard. Think about what that means. Atlas isn't just a rock tumbling through space. It's a physical link between distant suns, a fragment of a world that once circled another star, now passing through ours. Suddenly, the Milky Way feels less like a collection of strangers and more like a vast, tangled web where systems exchange matter across unimaginable distances. For scientists, that's data. For philosophers, it's awe. And for humanity as a whole, it's a reminder that our story is part of something far larger. If Atlas carries organics, it may be proof that the galaxy shares its chemistry freely. If it's a planetary fragment, it shows that the processes shaping Earth are not unique. In both cases, we are connected to a cosmic narrative that stretches far beyond the sun. Culturally, discoveries like this expand our sense of belonging. Just as the Apollo missions gave people a new perspective on Earth, a fragile blue marble suspended in blackness, interstellar visitors remind us that we live in a galaxy buzzing with motion and exchange. They're not threats to fear, but messengers of continuity, showing us that the same forces that built our world are at work everywhere. Atlas, in this light, isn't just bigger than we thought. It's also bigger in meaning, a symbol of connection in a universe we're only beginning to understand. The realization that Atlas is far larger than expected doesn't just excite astronomers. It changes the game for exploration. Small interstellar objects like Oumuamua were gone before we could even think about sending a spacecraft. But Atlas's scale makes it a much more attractive target. A larger body offers more surface area to land on, more gravity to work with, and more time to study before it fades back into the dark. If humanity ever launches a mission to intercept an interstellar traveler, Atlas-type objects are exactly the ones to chase. And then, there's the astrobiology angle. If Atlas contains ices mixed with carbon-rich organics, it could be carrying the very building blocks of life. Larger bodies also have the potential for internal complexity. With enough mass, heat from radioactive elements or gravitational stress might create layering, rocky cores, icy mantles, and maybe even liquid reservoirs sealed beneath the surface. Imagine what that means. Atlas could be more than a frozen rock. It could be an embryonic world, development cut short when it was ejected from its home system. Studying it up close might reveal environments where chemistry once bubbled with potential, or still does. That possibility electrifies astrobiologists because it suggests the galaxy is scattered not only with fragments, but with worlds in waiting, each carrying stories of how planets begin. Sending a probe may sound like science fiction, but proposals are already on the table. And after Webb's revelation, the urgency has only grown. Because every interstellar giant that passes us isn't just a visitor, it's an opportunity. An opportunity to touch alien material, to test panspermia theories, and maybe even to glimpse how life's recipe spreads from one star to another. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us many breathtaking insights since its launch, but its confirmation of three i slash atlases true size stands out as a watershed moment. What astronomers first assumed was just another faint interstellar pebble has turned out to be a colossal planetary fragment. A body so large that it forces us to rethink the very mechanics of how star systems form and evolve. Atlas isn't just bigger in mass, it's bigger in meaning. 
It shows us that the galaxy is not an empty void dotted with isolated stars, but a dynamic network where worlds shed pieces of themselves, scattering seeds of chemistry and perhaps even life itself across unimaginable distances. Each visitor reminds us that Earth is not alone in its processes, its history, or its destiny. We are part of a living, shifting galaxy. And here's the real takeaway. If Atlas exists, there may be countless more like it, silent behemoths crossing star systems, carrying the untold stories of their origins. For scientists, that's an opportunity. For humanity, it's a humbling reminder of our place in the cosmos. So now it's your turn. What do you think Atlas is hiding? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries of the universe.